went and got our dog, Chuch. That's what my son named him. And he's a little bit scared because I broke his routine. I woke him up and usually Joshua wakes him up and I took him downstairs. So he's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? And why are you putting me in this glass panel? So he's scared. But I took his measurement from his nose. I made a line just like they did at the dog show. And then I stretched his little tail and I, and I made a line um, where his tail ended. Usually his ears are up and he's really happy. So I'll post a picture of how he really looks, but he's scared right now. So I am going to put him down so he can play. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. I am going to use Expo markers. I'm using Expo markers because I have lots of them. And they are the same size, so I can use them. So when I put my unusual units, I want to make sure that they touch the line. have two I have three and I have four so Chush the dog is four expo Markers long. First graders, I want you to go home and I want you to find things that you can measure, but there's rules. When you compare things, you have to measure with a unit that is the same. So I have to make sure that I have lots of Expo markers, which I do. Because if one marker is shorter than the other, then the data is inaccurate. So find an unusual unit. It could be noodles that are the same size. It could be pennies, dimes, bar soaps, and measure something in your house. And you can take a video and you can send it to Miss Donis if you want, okay? I will be assigning some measurement um, assignments through GoMath so that we can practice this, okay?